Okay, you guys. So first of all, I'm going to get into the first clip. This is going to be a pretty long clip. Um, Jay Boog weighs in on Michelle Obama and Zaya Wade's Women's History Month interview. This is not cool. First of all, I just want to say I agree with Jay Boog. A lot of people seem to not take him seriously about a lot of things, but this man has a career. He knows Hollywood and he is a black man in America. And if he felt the need to speak out, then I needed to look into this because I got this clip off of MTO Media Takeout. And they were running the story. So let me get into my take on this. I had some words to say to Miss Obama about saying that she was embracing this. I mean, really, look at this child. This is a boy. This is Dwayne Wade's son. And I had the clip of Dwayne Wade, the pyramid sig significant for Egypt, the almighty dollar, and uh, Gabrielle Union was standing there. And she didn't have on anything girly, but the men had on the pink. As you can see, he is wearing a lace front wig or some sort of wig. And this clip is from his Instagram. All of these screenshots are from his Instagram. And Zaya is in the background. First of all, I just want to say this is not to bash Zaya in any sort of way. But look at Zaya. Is Isaiah is a young male and he's in the background um, identifying as a lady and as you can see that is a romper and his hair is colored and he has on a skirt in this uh, screenshot and a skirt here as well and a skirt there. And, you know, honestly, I just wanted to do a video to show people who do not know what's going on. Um, I'm not trying to bash Zaya in any sort of way, but there is a homosexual agenda in Hollywood. A lot of you guys remember his father started wearing the zesty clothing and then uh, he was with Gabrielle Union. He started wearing the zesty clothing and now his son has been spending a lot of time with Gabby and now uh, they're saying that he has been identifying as transgender since he was three years old. Don't know how that's possible with proper upbringing, but He's identifying as a lady, and here he is in the middle of Gabrielle and another female, and they are dancing in these clips, and Gabby was very into it. You all know Gabby is an actress. She is a black actress in America. She is very lively on the set and off of the set as far as his Instagram clips are concerned, but uh, our concern is for the boy, um, the young teenage male. His name is Zaya. And he, he is here in uh, the middle of these clips dancing with cornrows in his head and a squirt or a skirt. Now, like I said, we are not to bash Zaya in any kind of way. But you do have to look at what this is promoting to your children. Two million views of this young male in a shirt. In a, in a skirt and here he is dancing with Gabby uh, with 3 million views and he has on some sort of skirt tied around his waist and it, it, it resembles like a split or something like that and it seems like he does look up to Gabby a lot uh, being that they are saying that he transgendered from a three year old I guess we cannot say that his influence at home had anything to do with uh, his decision here he is uh normal uh young man but here he is carrying a purse and um there are stories of other males who have also had fathers who were in the nba and also uh identify as female so on these clips they are saying since he was three years old he was transgender uh he's known since he was nine years old um 
and I, I don't really know all of the details to this story but it was on the news and here his father is standing up for Asian American attacks and I'm going to extend this clip because there are a lot of hate crimes against black people right now. I myself am a victim of hate crimes as an African-American woman. And I am asking any of you uh, African-American men out there with a platform, please stand up for your own kind. Thank you.